Welcome to you all. Thank you so much for showing up today. We will start the practice in Sukhasana. So just finding an easy seat. You can just find a little length through the spine, rounding down through the sit bones. Place the palms on top of the knees. Just roll the shoulders up to the ears. You take an inhale. And as you exhale, soften them down the back. Just take a moment to settle into your space to come home to the body, to the breath. In today's practice, I ask that you be guided by your breath. Allow your breath to guide you. Just note the rhythm of breath, the quality of breath as it is right now. Begin to cultivate a little more length and depth. A little more space for that life to channel and travel through. Just note if it's fast and shallow throughout the practice today to, to honor that breath and to pause as i mentioned to take child's pose or to pause in downward facing dog or just to simply lay on the mat this practice may or may not be for you for all of you so i invite you also to be creative if there's something that you wish to transition into or to skip or to add on that invitation is yours. Allow the breath to cultivate equanimity. A harmonious balance between some chaos that we will move through. Allow it to bring you back to your center, into your space, into feeling the feet beneath you. You know, just take a deep breath in through the nose, filling up. And a complete breath out through the mouth, letting go. Just take two more like that, filling up with life as you inhale. Releasing any excess as you exhale. Inhale, filling up. Releasing tension, exhale. Good, you'll just take an inhale to halfway for two. And one, just hold that breath at the base of the ribs, at the top of the belly, and then breathe in for another two. At the top of the breath, hold, and then release the breath for four. Again, take a deep breath in, or just to, to two, or one, and then to the top of the breath for two, and one. Release it out for four, three, two, and one, again, just breathe into halfway. Hold, breathe in to the top of the chest, two, one, and then breathe out for four, three, two, one. Good, take another couple breaths like that, breathing in to the top of the belly, and then breathing in to the top of the chest, and then completing that breath out to the base of the spine. Breathe in, breathe in, and then breathe out. For three more in, breathe in, and then breathe out. In, in, and then out. Allow the shoulders to settle. And the focus to come inward. Allow the breath to return to a neutral, natural rhythm. And then 
we will, we will begin to just roll over the knees as you place the hands out front, coming into a tabletop. We'll begin the practice with some cat cows. So just allow the belly to dip, the shoulders to draw back towards the hips and the chest to open up. And then exhale, you can begin to round, curl in, draw chin in towards the chest, navel to spine. Inhale, draw it forward, shoulders back, tail untucked. Exhale, round and draw in and up. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, pause at the top of the breath here. Draw shoulders back. You can tuck those toes, draw buttocks slightly back towards heels. And then a complete breath out all the way to the bottom of the breath. As you round, tuck chin in, navel in towards the spine. Hold here for a moment. And then on an inhale, you'll draw through center. Align that spine. Good. Let's uh, tuck those toes. Push back into the top of the mat with the fingertips, but it's back towards the heels. And then you can begin to rise up into a down facing dog. So you can begin to walk out the heels if that feels good. Then you'll settle and pause in your downward facing dog. So the feet are hip width apart, the heels are drawn towards the earth. They don't have to touch, just like bend in the knees. Take the buttocks up high, find length in the spine and just Relax the head, the jaw, the tongue, press down firmly through the fingers, the knuckles. Draw the navel in towards the spine. And take a couple more breaths here. Breathing in, breathing out. And just begin to cultivate ujjayi breath by locking the back of the throat, creating that sound of the ocean. On your next inhalation, you can begin to just separate the feet to the mat width apart. So you can step off of the mat if that's okay for you. Walk the hands in a little closer towards the body. You'll extend that left hand out and right hand will come underneath to take that left ankle, calf muscle or thigh. Draw that right elbow down towards the floor and then gaze underneath that left arm. And if you'd like a little bit more, you can tend on to those fingertips. And then you'll begin to slowly release. Right hand reaches out, left hand reaches under to take that outer ankle, calf muscle or thigh. And gaze underneath as you draw that left elbow in a little closer. Maybe you tend onto those fingers of the right hand. And then you'll slowly begin to release. Left hand back, walk those hands back out, downward facing dog. Bring the feet back to hip width apart. Bend those knees, take the gaze forward, either step or a little hop forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift the chest, halfway lift, and then exhale, fold in. Wrap the hands around the calf muscles, thighs. Inhale, bend those knees, sweep the hands up. Reach up, gaze up. Exhale, palms with the hands to heart space. So we'll come back to that very basic pranayam by breathing in for two as you sweep those hands up interlace the fingers press the palms up for two and then exhale for four folding forward inhale for two lift halfway exhale fold for two inhale for four lace those fingers press up Extend and then exhale back for four. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. And then the knees, inhale for four. Interlace the fingers, press up. And then exhale for four. Inhale for two. And exhale for two. One more breath in, inhale for four, three, interlace those fingers, press up, two, and then one. Bring those palms of the hands back down towards the heart space, close the eyes, stand tall, ground down through the soles of the feet, lift the toes and then press them down, firming that foundation in Tadasana Mountain Pose. On an inhale, reach the hands up. Exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, take both feet back to your plank pose. Inhale. On your exhale, lower all the way to the floor. Drop the knees if you need. Inhale, lift cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And we'll hold here for three deep breaths in. J breaths. And out. In. And out. Next, inhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float forward. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Inhale to stand tall, reach up. Exhale, palms of the hands to heart space. We'll fl flow through three more rounds of Surya Namaskar A. We will flow with the breath in this round, in this ne these next rounds. So I invite you to follow your own breath. I will be guiding you for those of you who want to stay with me. Uh, and then we'll meet at the top of the mat after those three rounds. So take an inhale to begin. Reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or float back. Lower down on your exhale. Inhale, cobra or urdhva mukha. Exhale, urdhva mukha, downward facing dog. For three breaths in and out. Inhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step or flip forward. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Inhale to stand tall. Exhale, palms with the hands to heart space. Inhale, float, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, exhale, three breaths, yeah. Your gaze forward, bend the knees, step or float it forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway, exhale, fold in. Inhale to stand tall. Exhale, palms to the hands to heart space. One more round in. Out, fold. In, halfway. Out, vinyasa. Inhale as we rise, open the heart, shoulders back. Exhale as we draw back. Downward facing dog, three breaths. Gazes forward, bent knees. Exhale, step or float forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, sit the hands up. Exhale, palms with the hands to heart space. Take a moment to settle, to arrive back into the space of your body here on the mat. We will flow through four rounds of Surya Namaskar B, moving through Ukatasana and Warrior One. The first round we'll do together and then the next three rounds will flow in our own breath or again you can follow my guidance. On an inhale, Ukatasana. Exhale, sink low. And we'll stay here for two. In and out. In and out, folding in. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen. Exhale, plant the hand, step or flow through your vinyasa. Inhale, lift the heart, shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, three breaths. And sorry, let's take one breath in. Right leg goes high. We're on Surya Namaskar B. Exhale, draw knee in towards the nose and hold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw knee in towards the nose and then step it forward. Hands reach out, warrior one. We're here for three. Draw that left hip under. Draw the navel in. Ribs draw down and then the shoulders down the back. You can take that gaze up, inhale. And then exhale, sweep the hands down. Come back to your plank pose. You can keep this leg lifted if you like and float. In 
hands out, downward facing dog. Left leg goes high, inhale. We take one knee to nose, exhale. Inhale, three leg it up. Exhale, knee in, round, step it forward. Right foot grounds down, right heel down. Reach those arms up, right hip under. If this is unavailable to you, you can extend through that heel and be on the big toe mount. Take that gaze up as you reach, lifting the chest. And then exhale, bring those hands down. Left foot goes back to plank, we'll keep it lifted. And then flow. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, down with facing dog. One deep breath in. Complete breath out. Inhale, bend those knees. Exhale, step or float it forward. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold. Inhale, Ukatasana, one deep breath in. Exhale, sink low. Inhale to stand tall. Exhale, palms of the hands to heart space. So again, three rounds. Flow one breath per movement. Inhale, Ukatasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, vinyasa. In. And out. Right leg high in. And out, let's draw it forward. Step it forward, right? Our arms reach up. Arms go down. In. And then out. Left high in. Exhale, step it forward. Warrior one, rise up. Exhale, flow down. In. And out. Deep breath in, gaze forward. Exhale, step it forward. In, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Ukatasana. Exhale, sink low. Inhale, to stand tall. Exhale, palms of the hands to heart space. Inhale, Ukatasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, flow. Rise on the inhale. The cobra or open mocha. Exhale, downward dog. Right high, inhale. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold. Vinyasa. In. And up. Left high, in. Exhale, out, step it forward. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, float. In. And out. Gaze is forward, bent knees. Exhale, step or foot forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, Ukatasana. Exhale, sink low. Inhale to stand tall. Exhale, palms of the hands to heart space. Last round. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, vinyasa. In, lift, exhale, draw back. Right high, in, exhale, draw it in. Plant that foot, inhale, reach up. Exhale, down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, down with facing dog. Left high, in, out, draw it in. Inhale, rise. Exhale, flow. In. And then out. Inhale, gaze forward, bent knees. Exhale, step or float it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Ukatasana. Exhale, sink low. Inhale to stand tall. Exhale, palms of the hands to heart space. Take a moment to resettle into your space. Ukatasana, and inhale. Sweep the hands along the floor. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lengthen halfway lift. Exhale, flow back, vinyasa. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Rise up. Exhale, draw it back down, facing dog. Good. We'll take a few breaths here. We'll come back to three-legged dog with that right leg high. Exhale, draw knee in towards the nose, round again, hold. Inhale, three-legged dog. 
Exhale, draw knee in, round, and then draw it forward. Drop that foot, inhale, warrior one, rise up. We'll pause here for a little longer here. Working on that alignment, drawing that left hip forward. Again, if you can't drop that heel, come onto the toes. Reach up through those fingers, but draw ribs down, navel in, and squeeze, pelvic floor. Reaching through those fingertips. Reaching up a little bit further. And then on your exhale, you'll bring those hands down behind you. Left thumb wraps on top of right. Squeeze the palms together. Draw the elbows back together. Lift through the chest, shoulders meet. And then on an exhale, you'll fold in. We'll stay here for five in Humble Warrior. Think about drawing that right hip back towards that left heel. Gaze back towards that left heel. And then draw the crown of the head a little closer to the floor. Bend just a little bit deeper into that right knee and reach those hands up a little higher. One more breath here. When you are in, how you use those hands to draw you up. Release, bring them up to the top. And then exhale, draw the hands towards the heart space. Bend deeper into that right knee. We'll forward, hook that left elbow on top of the right knee. Again, lift the heel if you need or press it down here. Draw the palms of the hands towards the center of the heart and then gaze over that right shoulder. We'll take three more breaths in and up. In. Last one in. And your exhale, turn back through center. Inhale, reach up, warrior one, ground through that back heel. Exhale, bring those hands down behind the back. This time, take the elbows here, hands to the elbows, or if it's in your practice, take reverse namaste. So the palms of the hands to meet, draw them up in between the shoulder blades, draw those shoulders open, lift through the chest, but keep tucking that hip under. And then on an inhale, gaze up, little mini back bend. On an exhale, you can begin to fold over that right leg, straightening, pressing down through that big toe. Draw that chin in towards the shin. If this is too much, you can release the hands to the floor. And then take that gaze back towards that left heel. If you have the palms of the hands pressing together, keep them pressing together. Keep pressing through right big toe to protect any hyperextension in that leg. On your next inhalation, push through that right big toe, slight bend in that right knee as you rise up. Release the hands from down the back, bring them up, inhale. And then exhale, hands down, right foot goes back, vinyasa. Flow, rise, and then draw back. Again, a couple deep breaths in, complete breaths out. Left leg goes high, inhale, reach to those toes. Exhale, draw knee in towards the nose, round, draw it in, close, maybe to touch the forehead. Inhale, lengthen along. Exhale, draw in, round, and then lightly set it forward. Rising up for worry one, reach up. Good, again, find that alignment. So right hip tucks under, squeeze pelvic floor, ribs draw down, navel in, then the shoulders down the back here. That right glute is very engaged. You can gaze up as you reach up through those fingers. Soften a little deeper into this left knee. And then on your exhale, you'll sweep those hands down behind the back. Right thumb this time on top of left. So awkward lace of the fingers. Press the palms together, elbows back, draw back. Shoulder blades to meet, lift through the chest as you inhale. And then exhale, fold forward to the inside of the left leg. Maybe that shoulder to meet the left knee. Gaze back towards that heel. And then think about drawing that left hip back towards the heel. Bending in a little bit deeper. Drawing the crown of the head a little closer towards the earth. Two more breaths. Your inhale will begin to draw you back up. Reach those hands up. And then exhale, bring those hands towards the heart space. We'll twist over to the left side. Right elbow hooks to that left knee. Again, if you need to turn onto the toes, you can. 
or keep that heel dropped. Bend deeper into that left knee, press the palms towards the center of the heart, and then gaze over that left shoulder. Two. When you exhale, you'll draw it back through center, reach the arms up, inhale. And exhale, bring those hands back down. Again, either take the elbows, you can take the hips if that was too much for you before, or the hands to reverse namaste, drawing the fingers up between the shoulder blades. You can lift through the chest, draw the shoulders back. Straighten that leg as you begin to fold forward, press down through that left big toe. Chest towards the thigh, tuck the chin in. Option to release from here, bring the hands to the floor if it's too much. Keep pressing, surrendering. On an inhale, you begin to press through that left big toe, bend that left knee a little, rise up. Bring those hands up, in, and then out, release. Left leg goes back, vinyasa. Inhale, lift, lengthen, exhale, downward facing dog. Take an inhale, bend those knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, Upatasana, reach up. Exhale, we'll stay here for three once again. Need to get this towel. <laughs> I'm sweating. Two. And then one from here, you'll lift, you'll bring all of that weight into the left leg. You'll lift that right foot up. Good, you'll extend that heel out to the mat in front of you. You either stay here or you begin to lift that heel up away from the floor. Keep reaching through the fingers, finding length through the spine, and then maybe bending a little deeper into that left leg. Take an inhale as you stand tall, right leg comes up, option is with the knee, knee bent or you extend it out. Two, on one, right leg drops on top of left, left arm on top of right, the eagle. You can take the toes behind the calf muscle if that's available. Align the elbows with the knees, and then out line with the shoulders. We sit here for three, two, and one more breath. Rise up on an inhale, lift up, lift that leg. And then exhale, drop it down. Bring the hands towards the heart space and then bend back into Ukatasana. Good, sweep the hands up, inhale. Press firmly down through that right foot and extend that left leg. So the heel can stay on the floor here. Bend in a little bit deeper and then lift that left leg as an option. Two. And then one, begin to extend that right leg, lift that left leg up, option to bend the knee. It. And then you'll wrap that left leg over top of the right, right arm over top of the left, eagle. Bind the toes if you can, elbows up in line with the shoulders and in line with the knees. Sit for three, two, and one. Inhale, reach it up, left leg high. And then exhale, sweep it down, hands to heart space. Inhale, Ukatasana. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, flow through your vinyasa. You can meet us in downward dog if you'd like. So moving forward in our flow, we'll take that right leg high, inhale. Exhale, draw knee in towards the nose, round. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw knee in, round, and then step it forward. Warrior two, sweep the hands up. Back heel is down to 90 degrees. Soften in, right knee bent. Tap the hips under, navel in. Soften the shoulders for three. Two. One. Exhale, left hand binds behind the back. Right hand reaches up, inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, soften into that right knee. 
inhale, reach up a little further. And then exhale, take right hand down to the inside. Option, elbow to knee for side angle, left hand reaches up. Option to take a bind underneath you. I know this is available for some of you, so I will demonstrate. Otherwise, you'll keep that elbow to the knee. Draw those fingertips, the bind of the hands back towards the middle of the butt cheeks. Gaze up and over that left shoulder. Sink in a little bit deeper. Two. We will transition into Trikonasana. If you have the bind, you can begin to straighten that leg. If you had that elbow to the knee, the hand will come to the inside. The left arm reaches up. Good, take that option. Staying with the bind if you have that bind. And then on an exhale, you'll release the bind if you have the bind, and then you'll rise up, inhale, reverse trikonasana, straighten that front leg. Exhale, bring that right knee to bend, right hand reaches out in front, take a block if you need, stepping into Adra Chandrasana, left arm reaches up. Find your alignment, and then if you'd like to go further, maybe you take Chapasana, taking the top of the foot with the hand. Again, that's your advanced option. If you have the foot into the hand, kick it out, opening that hip, Gazing up, opening that heart. Two. And one, we'll all release left hand towards the floor, standing split. There's one breath in as you lift that left leg up. And then out. Draw that chest up in line with the hips. It can be on the pinky tip, pinky fingers here. You can either choose to stay here or we'll transition into worry three. Sweep those hands back behind you. Good. Option to reach those arms forward if you would like. So three, two, one. Option to bring those hands to the floor or more advanced hands to heart space. Left knee comes in to tuck into that right calf muscle. Inhale, extend. Exhale, Jiva squat. Use the floor if you need. Inhale. And then exhale. In and then out. I know it burns. <laughs> Inhale, extend. Good. And then exhale, standing split. Folding in. Inhale, lift halfway. You choose how you come back into your vinyasa. If you would like to lift up into a handstand, you can. Or maybe some downward facing dog. So if you are, left leg goes high, press up and then flop. Good. Left leg goes high, inhale, reach to the toes. Exhale, draw knee in towards the nose round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw left leg through. Step it through lightly, reach up, warrior two. Find a moment to settle, heel in line with that inner arc of the foot. Drop the shoulders, tuck the tail under. Realign with that breath. And then exhale, you take right hand behind the waist. Hook it, left hand reaches up, inhale. Stay here on your exhale, soften deeper into that left knee. Inhale, reach a little longer. And then exhale, come down, side angle. Option to take elbow to knee to keep the bind or reach that right arm up. You choose. Once you find your position, we're here for five. Four. Three. Two. And then one. Transitioning into trikonasana. If you have the bind, you'll straighten that left leg. If you don't have the bind, you'll take that fingertip towards the inside of the left leg. Right hand reaches up. Tuck the hips under. Gaze up towards the fingers. Good. 
And if you have that bind, you'll release the bind. You'll rise back up, reverse trikonasana. And then exhale, bend into that left knee, left hand goes forward to the diagonal of the mat. Maybe use the block, Ajra Chandrasana. Reaching up, extending through the heel, keep it in line with that hip. Option to take Shapasana, right hand to the foot, kick into that hand, opening the hip and the heart. Maybe you take that gaze slightly forward or up. Two. And on one, right hand comes down towards the floor as you exhale, standing slip. Good, inhale, lift the chest halfway. Align that leg with the hip. Option to take your warrior three by reaching those hands towards the heel. Use the wall if you need or bring those arms out in front. Good, for three. Two. One, good. Either bring the hands to the floor or the hands to the heart space. You'll drop that right knee behind the left calf muscle for Jiva spot. Inhale, extend it long. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, and then exhale. In, out. Good, inhale, drop those hands standing slit. As you fold in, lift that right leg. Good. You can begin to rise up, either shift back through your vinyasa, come to downward facing dog, or if you would like again, you can take that little hop. You can take a couple of deep breaths out through the mouth, cleansing breaths out. Just allowing that sensation in that left leg to dissolve before we move forward. Eleven, eleven again. We got lucky on two, two last two classes. Make a wish. We're in perfect alignment with wherever we're at right now. Let's come forward into plank pose option to drop your knees. Go shoulders over top of the wrists. Think about squeezing midlines of the legs together. The glutes are engaged. Navel up towards the base of the spine and heart up in between the shoulder blades. Good. We'll stay here for five more complete breaths. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. And then slowly for five, we'll bend those elbows and come put down onto the floor. Four, three, two, and one, rest the cheek. Just wiggle the hips side to side. We'll release those hands back. We'll take an interlace with the fat hands, left thumb on top of right this time. Good, squeeze the midlines of the legs together so the big toes to touch. And then we'll slowly begin to lift the chest up. Keep the tops of the feet on the floor. Reach those hands between the butt cheeks. Shoulder blades squeeze together. Neutralize the position of the head. So slight tuck of the chin in. Four, three, two, and one. Begin to relax on your exhale, release the bind. Shift that cheek to the other side, wiggle the hips out. And then again, we'll take that bind of the hands, right thumb over top of left, squeeze palms together if that's available. This time, we'll lift the toes and the shoulders, the chest. So on an inhale, lifting up, squeeze those hands down between the legs. Again, neutral position with the head, 
relax the jaw, the tongue, the brow. For three, lift up a little higher. Two, and one. Begin to release. Rest the opposite cheek. Wiggle the hips out. And then we'll bring those hands underneath, back up into a cobra pose. Press down through the tops of the feet and lift the hips into Urdhva Mukha. Good. Exhale, Urdhva Mukha, downward facing dog. You can take that gaze forward, bend those knees. Exhale, step or float to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, Ukatasana. Exhale, sink low. Again, bring all of that weight into that left foot. Right heel extends. Option to stay here or lift it up. Right. And then begin to stand tall, lifting that leg up or knee bent. Good. Find more length through the sides of the body, reaching up through the fingers. And then from here, we're going to add on to what we did on Friday with that pistol squat. So we'll bring the hands out in front. Again, option with that knee bent. From here, you'll begin to lean forward over top of that right leg. Bend into that left knee. Use the wall with that right hand or bring that right hand to the floor as you bend, lower, and come down. Very nice. Well done, Chris. Good. Step into that left foot. Reach forward for that right leg. Allow this left knee to splay out and come onto the pinky toe edge of the foot. It will fold into a Janus or Sasana. So drawing that chest, spine long, and then fold. Use a block, the hands underneath the calf muscle if you need. Last three breaths. You can begin to feel the chest up, rising up. Left foot comes back in. Good. Left hand back behind you, right hand reaches up, find length through the spine. And on the exhale, you'll tuck that tricep to the outer left knee, hand to the glute, and then gaze over that left shoulder. Keep right foot flexed, leg engaged. Breathe in to find more length, and out to draw back a little bit further. And then you'll begin to release. Right hand will come back behind you. Fingertips draw out towards that corner of the mat, press down through this left leg, point through the right toes, and then sweep that left hand up, lift those hips up into a variation of wild thing. Good. Gaze to those fingers, take another inhale, and then exhale, you can begin to lower down. Make your way back to downward facing dog, so maybe you cross the legs, flat the hands, and then flow. Again, we'll make our way to the top of the mat. So if you'd like to step, float or fly, take a couple breaths to do so. And then fold, lifting the chest halfway and then folding in. Inhale, Ukitasana. Exhale, sink low, weight into those heels. And then right heel, especially, we'll, we'll lift that left knee up. We'll extend that heel to the floor. You choose again either to stay here or as we inhale, we'll rise up with that left leg or knee. Good. Find more length through the side body, flexing that foot and pushing out through that heel. We will reach those arms forward again, preparing for pistol. Again, bend the knees, use the hands back behind you, and then you'll reach forward. Bending that right knee. So come and sit on the buttocks. It's very nice. 
Yeah, we'll open up that right knee, sole of the foot to the inside, and reach forward. Find length through the spine to draw the shoulders onto the back of the body, and then fold in. Use the strap, the hands under the calf muscle if you need, or use that block to come a little bit further. The chin towards the shin. For three long, deep, complete breaths. And we'll slowly begin to peel the chest up off of that leg. You turn that right foot back in onto the mat. Okay. And then you'll sweep that right hand back behind you. Left hand reaches up, find length through the spine, belly towards the thigh, and exhale, elbow to the outer right knee, the palm of the hand to that glute, and then gaze over that right shoulder. Keep left foot flexed, left leg engaged. Find more length on your inhalation and depth in that twist on your exhalation. And then slowly you'll begin to release. Good. You'll take that left hand back, fingers to the corner of the mat, point through this left foot, press through that right heel and then lift those hips up. Your variation of wild thing. Good. Take another inhale as you reach up, lengthen. And then exhale as you drop the hips down, sweep that hand around. Let's draw both knees into the chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. You can round through the back of the body. Chin in. And then you'll begin to lengthen through the spine. Thighs in towards the belly. We'll move, uh, move into Navasana. And release the hands. You can hook the triceps or the insides of the arms, sorry, to the outer legs if you want to make this a little easier. Squeeze the knees in together and then reach those heels up and lengthen the knees. Think about finding more length and maybe you release those arms from the, the legs. Maybe you begin to extend those legs up a little higher. For five, let's breathe. Four. Three. Two. And one. Lengthen to a half boat. Again, option drop those feet to the floor or bend the knees or extend long. Round through the back of the body. Chin stays in. Navel draws in. And we'll take little pulses for five, coming up, lengthening, four, three, two, and one, extend long, not quite over for four, three, two, and one, reach those arms up overhead, take a long, deep inhalation in through the nose. Cleansing breath out through the mouth. Palms with the hands down the side, the body. Draw the heels in towards the buttocks. We're going to come up for three rounds of bridge. The first round as an option can be bridge for all of us. And those second two rounds can be for your wheel chakrasana if you would like. So I'm gonna demonstrate the first round of bridge. We press through the palms of the hands Drop the back of the ribs to the floor, navel in. And as you press that navel in, note the hips, the glutes lift up off the floor. And those hips lift all the way up towards the side. Make sure the heels are in line with the knees. And then you can just draw that chin in towards the chest. Lift as you roll the shoulders under. And just focus on that belly breath. And stay here for four. Three, two, and one. On the exhale, slowly begin to roll down, maybe lift up onto the toes.
And again, that option to take two more bridge poses coming up the same way as we came up in the last round or taking your full wheel. So if you're coming into full wheel, we come back into our bridge pose. We tuck the fingers underneath the shoulders or the elbows in. I like to press up onto the crown of my head first and draw the knees over top of the ankles. Press through the fingertips. I like to splay them out to the corners of the mat a little and then press up. I like to stay also on top of my toes to create that space for my lower back first. And then when I'm ready, I'll drop those heels. The toes slightly draw in and the weight slightly over top of the wrists of the hands. If you can stay a couple more breaths, if you're up. And then to come down, I lift up onto the big toe mounds, drop the crown of the head again, shift the knees over top of the ankles, and then untuck the head. Let me back down and to the back. Just take one breath to readjust. And again, coming back up into your bridge pose or choosing that wheel. For five, four, three, two, and one. Coming down. For everyone to bring the feet to the outer edges of the mat. Let's draw the knees in together. Just gently sway them side to side to allow the lower back to release. And then you can gently draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a gentle squeeze. Again, you can rock side to side. And then you can bring the hands to you underneath the thighs. We'll begin to rock and roll up to the top of the mat. So you can take this for three or four rolls. And then finding the seat. Yeah, you take better Kanasana, so the soles of the feet together. You can interlace the fingers and wrap them around the toes. So you choose whether you have the heels close towards the, the base of the spine or extend them out a little longer. You can just begin to drop the knees. And then think about drawing the chest through, shoulders onto the back of the body, finding that length through the spine. And you can begin to fold forward, keeping that long straight spine. You just gently tuck the chin in. Use the elbows to draw the thighs or the calf muscles down. And slowly begin to release. Rising up. We take a cross of the legs. We'll move back into onto the hands, onto the knees. So however way you get there. Option is to come into child's pose and again, allow that lower back to neutralize. If you would like to take a headstand or an inversion here, feel free to do so. If you would like to take forearm stand, if you'd like to just build a little more heat before we finish, you can as well. Choosing your path, taking the option that aligns with your practice. And wherever you're at, whichever path you've taken, we'll stay here for five more breaths. And 
then you'll slowly just begin to you're coming to a headstand, take the time that you need to be in child's pose. Or we'll begin to come back up to the top of the mat, come down onto the back. We'll finish in a little twist. So draw the right knee in towards the chest, left leg long. Left hand to the right knee, and then twist over to the left. Gaze over to the right hand. Return through center, extend through that right leg, draw the left knee in towards the chest, and then over to the right. Left arm extends, gaze over. Well done, you've all moved through a very challenging practice today. If you're still here, congratulations. <laughs> And then you can draw that left knee back into the chest. You can extend both legs to the width of the mat. If there's anything else the body's calling for right now, honor, honor that and, and move into that space. You can just rest that hand onto the belly, left hand onto the heart, just a gentle roll of the shoulders under. Tuck the chin in towards the chest. The eyes are closed and the gaze is inward. Let's note the rhythm, the breath, the quality of breath. And as you begin to lengthen, and find a little more depth in each breath, invite the exhalation to bring you into a deeper states of relaxation, a space where you can completely let go of a thought any to do's and just allow yourself to be here to receive
Yeah, slowly beginning to return to the breath. Returning to the body and moving the fingers, the toes. And you can reach the arms up overhead, lengthening long. And then you can just draw the knees into the chest and give yourself a big squeeze. You can roll over to the right side of your mat. Begin to rise up, finding comfort in a seat. And just bring the palms of the hands to the center of the heart. Take a moment to honor that space. In a space of love, of kindness, of compassion, in a space of understanding. Let's all move from this space today, making decisions, taking action from love. Thanking each and every one of you for joining me in this practice today, for joining me in this journey of yoga, for breathing with me, for sweating with me. Namaste.